Hi, my name is Eddie Rodolfo Aparicio. You're here in my Los Angeles, California studio, and I'm recording this for the Denver Art Museum. So I started making these works. They're basically rubber castings made with the interior fluids of rubber trees. So they move nutrients through the body and they heal wounds. And so for me, I've been taking these internal fluids and coating the outsides of different trees in mostly Central American communities here in LA. And they make these um, castings which take the mirror image of these trees and basically kind of make a doubling of themselves. They're in between printmaking, sculpture, installation, and definitely painting. I started making these works out of having a kind of frustration with painting and with the lack of connection to materiality in painting. And so for me, uh, you can see over here, this work is one of the first pieces I've ever made from this series. And you can see all of the texture, carving, spray paint, everything comes off on, through this casting process. So then I kind of realized that this whole thing I was doing was looking at materials critically, the history in which they come from and the people that, and cultures that they're connected to. So I stopped doing that and I started um, looking at these dolls that my grandma had made out of clothing um, from her family in Nicaragua and El Salvador. And so I started using like this work here, you're looking at the back of this piece. And so the other side of this work has a rubber casting, but then I started using these found materials, things that came from my family and also painting on the backs of them. And so I've been finding my way back into painting, but I do a series of you know different material research projects, including amber, ceramics, and stone, and other things like that, that I find to have significance to the diaspora community that I come from. So for one of the works in this exhibition, I'm taking this idea of the sock doll that my grandma was making in El Salvador. And so she basically turned these used socks into these figures and then she clothed them. These are the ones that I made with my dad, but they're essentially just a sock that's filled. Um, and so she had so much more detailing and this amazing connection to the clothes and repurposing of materials. Um, which I've learned so much from just from looking at the things that she made. And so I'm doing a very simple version of that. And so we're making uh, several hundred of these dolls and we're going to be linking them together in kind of connection to other materials and then painting over the surface of them. So the dolls are filled and you know, the rest of them will be filled with this fiber. It's from the Saba tree, which is one of the most sacred trees in Central America and in Latin America. Um, you can recognize it through the big thorns it has on the trunk, but then it has these paws that release this um, material, I also call it silk floss. And so it comes directly like this out of the tree, and it's used as a filler for pillows and mattresses, a lot of things that have to do with rest. And so I really kind of gravitated toward this material as a, a way of connecting to different technologies that relate to my heritage, but also Kind of the practical aspects of filling these dolls and so i look forward to being able to share this work with you through this upcoming exhibition thank you for tuning in